everyone. This is Tyler Basha. Welcome to our Marine Knowledge Channel. If you are watching this video for the first time, please subscribe our channel and do not forget to press the bell button so that you will be notified if any videos which will be uploaded in our channel in future. And uh, today our chapter, the topic that we are going to cover will be how to overall uh, maintain fuel wrap. So we will try to give you maximum information about how to assemble it. And uh, please watch the video completely. And uh, please like, share and subscribe our channel. And if you don't like any of our content, kindly put a comment on it. And uh, we will try to improve our quality. And we will grow with you. Thanks for watching. Okay. Uh, now we are going to assemble the fuel well. So whenever you are doing any assembling work, please refer to your manual. So you will get all uh, information about how to assemble your uh, manual. You can follow the manual so that uh, you won't miss out any spare parts and you won't miss out any sequence of assembling. So I will start the assembling. So this is your uh, valve body. So it's already lapped. I just blow some air and this is your valve nut. So I will fix in the vise. So before fixing in the vise, you ensure that your uh, nut is inside your body. So now I fix the body in the vise. The next thing is you have to fix your uh, spindle guide. So before fixing, ensure this is your slot. This slot should match your uh, valve body pin. So that means if it match this spindle don't rotate if it in the slot it won't rotate that is the idea of having a slot over here so i will put some lube oil drop it so how you can identify whether it is in the slot or not you have to turn it and see you have to turn it and see if it is not turning it is in the slot so if it is turning it is not in the slot i will if, now it is not turning just i will push it up see here if it is not in the slot it will rotate like this if it is in the slot, it don't rotate. So, what I do is, I try to rotate. So, now you can see, eh? if, now it is not rotating. Earlier, I showed you it is rotating, that means it is not in the slot. Now it is not rotating. That means your spindle guide is properly aligned with the slot. So next we will fit back the thrust. So this three leg should exactly fit in your uh, spindle head. So you can see yeah it is now inside the spindle head. So we will go for the next. Then this is your uh, thrust spindle pipe and this is your uh, spring. And so this is your uh, thrust spindle pipe and this is your spring. And uh, I will fix it. Uh, one more information. 
you want to increase the pressure, opening pressure of your uh, fuel valve, you can add one shim. I will show you how the shim looks like. Shim will be like this. So if you want to increase uh, the opening pressure of your fuel valve, just add one spring, one uh, washer and uh, fix it in your, uh, your thrust spindle pipe. So now I don't need because uh, first I will uh, fix this and I will do a pressure test and then uh, I will decide whether I need to add a, a disc or not. It's a shim. Okay. Now I will fix it. the spring now and then we will put the thrust spindle pipe now we will fix the non return valve some coil on it fuel valve have one o-ring, two bearing, ring and we have a backup ring for one bearing. So this is your uh, o-ring, so let's put some molecode for our o-ring, molecode, so this is where the o-ring sits, now o-ring is already in place. I will put a bearing, one more bearing over here and we have a backup ring for your o-ring. So that means we have total four ceilings, top bearing, bottom bearing, o-ring and a backup ring for the o-ring. So always give an anti seizure port for your uh, o-rings and bearing. Now, we put back the valve body. So here all you need to see is this slot should match this slot. You can see here. Yeah? Here is the slot. So I will fix it. So while fixing this, ensure you are not uh, damaging your uh, wearing and o-ring. So a little tap is also okay. Okay. Yeah. Now you can see it. You can see the slot is exactly the pin went inside the slot so i have to tighten the nut so before as i always say all any threads you have to give your anti season port so now i'm going to tighten it Okay, the final tightening I will remove. Okay. Do the tightening. Same like uh, how we opened. We just need to compress it. And you can tighten it. Just compress and tighten it. We had assembled our uh, fuel valve. So very easy to assemble. It's not very complicated. But all you need to do is you have to follow your drawing. You have to follow your uh, maker's instruction, like how we need to overall whatever all the checks that we need to do. So we are done with our uh, assembling. So next will be we do pressure test for this. Once you do the pressure test only, we will come to know whether our fuel valve is leaking, not leaking, what is the opening pressure, whether the non-return valve is working good, 
Everything we will come to know only when we do the pressure test. 